I don't know. I, I don't understand why. Sorry. It doesn't make sense. Hello, guys. I'm here in Varano in a, a horrible day because it's cold, wet, foggy. But it's one of those days where, where you just want to stay in the bed, but when you hear the sound of the, the engines, you don't care about the bed. And I'm here for the last race of the season and I'm not gonna race only with Formula Predators, neither only with Grip G1, but with both of them. It's gonna be a crazy weekend with eight free sessions, two qualifiers and four races. And it's gonna be awesome, really. I can't wait for it. Now it's Friday. Today we will make some sessions with the Formula Predators to check the setup and all the things. And we try to do our best. By the way, these are conditions that I never, ever, ever tried in my whole life because it's half wet, half dry. We're gonna go in with slick tires and it's gonna be awesome. Ok, no grip. Spero che non siamo più diretti rivali al campionato, io do un consiglio. In queste condizioni usa il piede da principessa quando freni. Io ho staccato 10 metri dopo di te e ti sei andato lungo. Sì. Hai bloccato su troppe curve, cioè devi frena molto molto più delicatamente. E andarci dolce sul freno. I cut the grass. Oops. I understood too late that you need to break. Done. By the way, it was so fun, really so fun, so hard to control. You, you need to find the way, the dry way, and you need to find how much to brake, where to brake, where to accelerate, where to put the tires. But it's so cool. It, it was amazing, really. I think we made of something. di nuovo bandiera rossa dai sorry io l'ho detto che non c'è grip cazzo oh my god it's impossible to finish one session by the way there is no grip really it's really cold and it's hard to, to control the car dai basta bandiera rossa basta um, I don't know, I, I don't understand why. In the second session, the track was slower, there was no grip, and I went faster than the last time. My best was 11.7, and now I did 11.3, with a theoretical of 10.9. It doesn't make sense. How is it possible that if the track is lower, you go faster? Really, it doesn't make sense. By the way, in the last session, there was so much traffic that it, it felt like, I, I don't know, the city of Milano in in the worst day of the year. It's incredible. It was impossible to make a clean lap, impossible to get a reference, but you know, it doesn't make sense to drive today because tomorrow's gonna rain, so I don't know. I, we, I, I'm just having fun, that's it. By the way, I'm going to introduce for the first time my team, my new team, Harp Racing. So the, the new team where I'm racing with Formula Predator. We have Luca Capolongo, the engineer. Say ciao. Hi. <laughs> e poi, vabbè, gli altri sono spariti tutti. 
By the way, I have a little present here, which is something that... Uh, it's too dark outside. Which is something that... Oh, the oh my god. Uh, Simoni Racing sent me, and I'm talking about some new lights for my car, because uh, you probably saw the review I made of my new car one year ago, and I was complaining about the lights, because it has white lights here and yellow lights here, and they're truly horrible. So, Simoni Racing just sent me a kit of new lights for this car, which are absolutely easy to install. So now I'm going to install them on my car and see how they look. Finally, I had some decent lights for my car. Really, the, the, the yellow ones were truly horrible. <laughs> cool! I just wanna say thank you to Simone Racing for sending me these new lights for my car. And I don't know if you know them, I suggest you to visit their website, which I linked below. They produce many things for your car, many upgrades. They're also doing some pretty nice things like video tutorials where they explain you how to install some products that you buy by the way this day is over tomorrow i will have oh my god <laughs> five free practices one qualifying and one race oh my god <laughs> don't, don't ask me why <laughs> it's gonna be crazy see you tomorrow take me away from home show me Guys, it's so amazing to drive in these conditions. I love it. It's just so cold. I'm freezing. Don't ask me how, really. Do, do not. Don't do it. Don't ask it, but I don't know why. I don't know how. I went faster with the Predators than the Grip G1. Really, I, I don't know. Th th that's crazy. By the way, these first two sessions were awesome. I, I love racing under the rain. Really, I love it because you have to you have to invent you have to find the right line you have to find the grip and you have to invent the lines and that's cool that, that's what i love also because everybody is at the same level so you know you don't find people who made more tests to be more in advantage by the way first session great i did the best lap with one second on the second second session i did the same lap and i was second half a second from Azzori first but i i couldn't find a clean lap you saw it. I was overtaking in every corner, especially because we were racing with the PC-010, which are using semi-slick tires on, on wet. So we are obviously faster because we're using rain tires. So it, it was impossible to make a clean lap. By the way, now I'm gonna go in qualifying and I hope to finally be able to make a clean lap.
we are finally back in the first row. And no need to tell you, because you already know it, this racing season with Formula Predators was a true disaster, as you saw from the first videos. Due to all the problems you already know, I was never competitive. Which is crazy, because in 2018 I was on podium every race, while this year I have never made a single podium. But today, finally, with the new team, I saw some great results. A great setup, well balanced and a fast car allowed me to improve my best lap on dry and take the second place on wet, very important to me. By the way, this qualifying was really crazy, because Atsori in pole position was flying, be 1.2 seconds faster than me, and there you see the experience of a karting national champion. But behind me, Solfaroli almost 1 second slower, and then all the others more than 2 seconds slower than me. By the way, back to the qualifying, I might say that even if I have a very little experience on wet, I liked it and I felt comfortable. I liked the car and I was able to manage it easily. So considering that the race is gonna be wet, I expect to take my first podium of the season today here. But as always, what's gonna happen? Will Azzori start good and fly away? Or will I be able to pass him and win? Or maybe Solfaroli will make a good start and pass both of us. Or maybe I will make a bad mistake and lose the race. Nobody knows. If you wanna know it, you will find out in the next video.